Okay, in this little exercise, <clears throat> I'd like to show you some examples of the difference between pixelated, well, pixel layers and vector layers. Lots of people are asking, why can't I enlarge my mm, image to a big size without it going um, all jaggy around the edges? Well, that's why you use Designer. If you use Photo, you end up with jaggies if you enlarge it. If you use Designer, you don't. Now, let me show you. I've got the word subscribe there. That's already enlarged, and you can see it's an embedded document, which means I've imported it. It's a pixel layer, in fact. It's, it's, uh, it's done with a Affinity Photo. Couldn't think of it for a moment there. Must be too early in the morning. You'll also see that there's some other layers there and there and curves there now let me just get that out the way because no actually what i want to do is go back to that one there for a start and show you what it looks like when it's enlarged that's a that's a fairly small artboard i've got there in fact i don't even know if i can see the size of that artboard there's the artboard there let's have a look and see if it shows a measurement 141 millimeters by 254 millimeters so that's 14 by 25 centimeters isn't it so that's that's a fairly large picture but what happens when we do this there's our subscribe now let's pinch it out and enlarge it still looks nice and smooth all right it's starting to lose resolution there now you can see have a look at down the bottom there let's move that up a little bit that's terrible. If you've got that on a billboard or a poster, well, forget it. It just won't work, will it? Now, that is an example of what happens if you design something in, a, in Affinity Photo and then try and enlarge it to put it on, say, a T-shirt even, or a poster. Posters are the most obvious one. People design things that look really nice in a 6x4 photo image size and then try and enlarge it to a poster which is 60 centimeters by 40 centimeters and they just don't look nice so what you do you take that back down let's have an let's have a look at another example there's a nice pattern let's enlarge the pattern jaggies oh look at the jaggies around that one yep terrible let's reduce that the they're all images done with Affinity Photo. Oops, we've moved that whole thing. What I need to do is move the whole lot. We've got that selected. Now this, the S, you can see it's that layer there. And this is done with Affinity Designer. Let's enlarge this. That's getting pretty big. That's getting really big. That's even bigger. Still no jaggies. Can I move it? Oh, whole black thing. Where's the other side of that S? We're going to have to reduce it. Reduce it a bit more. There's the other side of the S. We're still getting bigger. You can have that nearly any size you like. And it's not going to get the jaggies. Now, if you've designed, say, the word subscribe and you've got SU there, you could put that on the side of a building. Let's have a look at this one. That's also, quite obviously, a line done with pen mode. Still no jaggies, still no jaggies. Looking lovely. You could put that on the side of a building. You could put it on a postcard. You could put it on a stamp and put it on a letter. So easy. Let's have a look at something else hiding in the background. There's the letter A, for example. That too is done with designer. No jaggies. Let's have a look at this one. Done with designer. No jaggies. That's why you use designer. Now, be aware that I'm in designer now, and that image there, because it's come in as an image from 
and it's a pixel layer, you might as well say. You see its image in the, in the thing? It says image from photo. Even though it's in a designer document, it's still a pixel layer, and if you enlarge it, it's going to have jaggies. And there's nothing you can do about that. Even if you make your original photo a gigantic size, well, that's going to be difficult, isn't it? Because if you try to create a pattern like that in any sort of size, in poster size, you're going to have a massive document in Affinity Photo. So there's a quick example of using Designer and using Photo. Which one are you going to use for your big objects? If you're dealing with things that are the size of an A4 sheet of paper, for example, or a, or a uh, computer screen, or your photo collection album, of course you use Affinity Photo, because you're not trying to enlarge them beyond reason. If you really want that image to enlarge to the side of a building, you either have to do it originally in Designer, or take the image to start with and use one of the many PNG to um, vector image converters that are around. There are lots of public ones, there are lots of free ones, you can buy them. It's not built into any of, many of the, well, certainly not built into Affinity Photo and Designer, and so far as I know, it's not built into the Adobe products either, but it may be. Don't quote me on that. So it's, as they say, it's horses for courses. If you're using photos, there's a photo. If you're using designer, there's a designer image. That's all I wanted to show you. Don't try and use photos to enlarge them beyond reason. Start big in the first place.